Hey, hello and welcome. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and digital designer, and I am bringing to you episode number two. Now, these episodes are all about tips on the basics with Canva. Um, I firmly believe that if you don't know it, you don't know it, basically, and you are not going to be able to get into Canva, get creating and make the amazing designs that you want to make if you don't know what all of the little basic features are, where they're hidden, how to use them. So I like to bring you the basics on Canva. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, the first one is all about borders and lines and being able to make them look good. You can have a bog standard black border or a colored border or a line and they can work really well in your designs. But if you could add color to them, if you could add gradient to them, if you could add something extra, to these features it could really make your design stand out so that's the first thing we're going to look at okay so first of all we just need a design so it could be something you're already creating or you might be thinking i actually just want to try this out for myself um i tend to usually go for a facebook post or an instagram size template okay so the first thing we're looking at is gradient lines frames borders those kind of things the different simple things that you can use in a design that you can now add a gradient to now quick tip if you press an l on your keyboard it will automatically bring up the line element for you and these options over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the thickness of this line so you can really see what i'm going to do with it okay so we now have a line I could use this anywhere on my design. I could use it as a border if I wanted to. Head over to the line color and scroll down and you now have these different gradient options. If you click on a gradient, find one you like or even just any, any gradient at all because you can actually change the color. So once you've found a gradient, come back up here to this box here and it then brings up this new section. So the two colors and multiples that you can add in and then the different styles. So you can see the line changing as I click on these different styles. I can change my colors as well. So I could go for a really deep purple. Um, I could go for a really limey green. I can add in another color if I want to, and it will add it in at the end. So you can really make these awesome different gradient lines for your business graphics. Okay, so also if you go to elements and type in frames, I'm going to click see all. You then have all these amazing hundreds and hundreds of different, different frames that you can use within your business. Now, you can also use these as a background. For example, if you wanted to add some text um, over the top, you can also change these as well. You also have the gradient option for these as well. And they works exactly the same way. So you can click on this and you can change the styles. You can change the gradient colors. Now I've gone for a, a bit of a boring one there. So let's look at something a bit different. Square is all good and well. We want something a little bit more quirky. So let's go for something like this one, for example. I'll get rid of my square. Make this slightly bigger. If I go up here, I can then add a gradient to this. So you can see how this could be used something in the background of your design. Now, one thing that I do like with shapes, if we go to the element section and type in shapes, see all, you have these lovely shapes here. I can click on this one, just any shape you want. It has to be in the shape section though. I've made it a bit bigger. And what I can do now, okay, is go to my border. I'll add a border in. So I now have a lovely border. I've increased the weight and I can choose a different style if I want to. Uh, let's go for that one. And then the color option, I'm going to click on this one. So it removes the color from inside the border. And then if I click on the border color, you're probably guessing where I'm going with this. I can now add a gradient to it. So you can now manipulate shapes to have nothing in the middle 
give them a gradient color on the outside and you can use these as borders on your designs i can change the shape on this as well if i wanted to i love that one right so that's number one for today okay so tip number two is color edit so you can adjust the colors within an image and i'm going to show you quickly how to do that so i'm going to find an image um let's go for this guy here he's looking rather sad put your photo on click edit image at the top over to adjust and then canva will find scroll down here the two or three main colors from within your design so when you click on the individual colors you can now adjust the hue the saturation and the brightness so I can change the background color of my guy. Look at that. That is a, an amazing feature. I love this. I'd love you to have a play with it. What can you do with the color edit feature? You can change saturation and brightness as well of the background. So it brings out the shadows more if you're changing the brightness. And then obviously the saturation is the intensity of the color. So if you've got a lovely photo and you like the background, but you want to slightly change the color, or even um, if Canva can pick up the color of the t-shirt, you can change the color of the t-shirt as well. So that was number two, the color edit feature. Okay, so borders and corners, borders and corners. I love borders and corners. Photos and videos as well. This is awesome. I'm going to use a photo first and then I will show you a video. So let's choose this picture here. Often I would say to you, pop them into a grid or a frame just to get away from that, that square border that you get with a standard image. But you can now edit the photos themselves. Okay, so I've added a photo. I'm going to click on my photo and I'm going to go over to border styles. So from here, you know, I can add in a border. I can change the color. I can make the corners rounded so it just looks a little bit better. I can make them dotty. I can give them some lines. Um, it just starts to make your image look so much better. And of course, I can change the border to a gradient. So you are giving yourself the photo that you want to use within your design, but you can also adjust the edges of the photo by giving it a border, rounded corners and a gradient. So it really stands out lovely and it looks so much nicer than the original photo. Let's put you there and you there. And you can see the difference straight away, what one has over the other. So definitely try this. And the same can be done for videos as well. So I'm going to go down to videos and I will show you quickly how you can do this. That's a nice bright video, somebody riding a bike in the background. Again, frames and grids, you can put them into if you want to, but you can now edit them, the borders within Canva. Again, it's the border style. I can click on this one, give it a nice thick border change the corner rounds nice rounds i do love a nice round and then i can come down here and i can give it a gradient and it just makes my video stand out so much better let's make that a bit smaller so you can see it properly and then i have this video that I can use in a design. I can use um, this would make a really, really good TikTok video as well. So you could change the, the sizing. If the video is portrait, um, you can create a portrait template and you can use this border outline for TikTok videos, um, YouTube shorts, that kind of thing as well. So it's not just a plain video, you're giving it something extra. So that is it for that tip. Okay, so the next one is a copy style. Now, if you're like me and you like to make lots of different designs at once, but then you may want them to all be consistent and have similar styles to them, you can do that in Canva now. It has, we have a copy style feature. So I'm gonna add a video in here because I'm gonna do it with a video. 
and I'm going to add another video and let's say I want to have a few videos I'm not saying I'm going to have all of these on the same design but I have the option if I want to that one has sound so let's not use that one I love the clock one absolutely love the clock video okay so I've got four videos here and I'm going to add my um, border. Let's make a nice border for this one. I'm going to have nice rounded corners and I'm going to give it a gradient. OK, so I've created this once. I want all of them to have the same. I don't want to have to go through and change all of them. OK, so I'm going to click on the one I have done. And I'm going to click on copy style. OK, so it's now copied the style of this one. I can click on that. Back to copy style. I'll click on that one. Back to copy style. And I'll click on that one. And I'm not saying they look great, but all four of my videos now have the exact same style applied to them. So I haven't had to go through and do every single one individually with all the different steps. I've done one and I can copy the style onto others. Copying style, I think, is a fantastic feature and really, really good at, at time saving as well. So that is that for that one, copy style. OK, so I couldn't not do one of the awesome AI features that have recently come out. I love the image stretch feature. So I want to show you how we create the image expand or image stretch feature um, i'm going to find a nice photo let's go back up here let me see what i've recently used and we will use a nice photo okay i quite like this one but i could think to myself i want it to fill the whole page it doesn't quite fill if i pull this out it doesn't expand the image it just makes it bigger and I want to fill the rest of this page. I can do that. So I'll select my image. Edit photo magic expand. Now this is a pro feature and then it gives me some different options on how to expand it. So you can see there's some different ones here and it will show you where um, it's going to expand it for you. I'm going to go back to whole page. So I want this to fill the whole page with new parts of the image. If I click Magic Expand, Canva will now go through and generate four different images that I can add into that little slither on the left hand side of the screen. So I can then choose which one is best suited for my image. OK, so we've got this one. You can see it's added in this section here. It's not made my image bigger. It's added in a new section so I can go through and choose which one I like the best. I quite like that one. I think that works really well. And that will do lovely for my design. So this works really well. Try it on other different photos that you have. Um, pick a photo in Canva that you like the look of, that you want to try and change and go for it. Uh, let's have a look at, say, this one, for example. Let's try this one. Let's see if we can expand this type of image as well. So magic expand. If I click that one, it then expands both ways. That's a little bit more. Let's try this one and just see if it gives me any any other options on the um, outer edges of the image. OK, so I've got four options here. It has actually filled in the flower vase there. It's given me some different options on this side, which I really like. I quite like that one. I think the jug and the handle looks good. And then it's given me an extra fill here. So if you're finding yourself that you have an image that you just want to add a little bit extra to it on one side or the other, top or bottom, definitely have a look at this feature in Canva. Okay, so lastly, I wanted to show you 
color change in smart mockups. So I've come back to the main home page, back to the home page in Canva. And then um, if you go to apps on the left hand side, you've got content planner, smart mockups and product photos. So we want the smart mockup one. If I click on smart mockup and then let's find a T-shirt, for example. Um, I want to add a design into this T-shirt. I'm going to click select, um, not a Christmas design. Let's go for a spooky Halloween design. So I'm going to add this design in and Canva have added it in for me. Now, the only problem is the design is very dark. It's near black and the T-shirt's white. If this doesn't quite work. I would prefer to have a white, a black T-shirt. So Canva have now given me this color option. I can now change the color of the t-shirt. So I could go black nearly, or if you know the exact background color of the design you've added, you could then change the color of the t-shirt to suit your design. So this has given me that option to change the background of my smart mock-up to match the design that I'm adding. Because not always do we want a white t-shirt. You might want green or pink or blue or black or purple. Your design might be a, a different color than what the template is that you're looking at the mock-up. So you can now change the color of the design in smart mock-ups. Okay, so that is it. We have been through lots of different things. I've got my list here of the different things we've just gone through. We've looked at gradients in frames and borders and lines. We looked at the color edit option. We looked at borders and corners. We've looked at the copy style feature. I think that's brilliant for copying the same style onto different designs. Um, we have looked at smart mockups and we also looked at the AI magic expand feature in expanding your images now this is just a very small amount of what canva can do so these are just a few tips and few features that you can use in your own graphics at home today so i hope you've really enjoyed this video if you have please be sure to click subscribe and to follow my channel because i have got lists and lists of different tutorials that i want to get out there for you and there's lots of other tutorials in the channel as well so that's it from me today guys i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you in the next video